Alan Keyes went on Tony Perkins' radio show on Family Research Council's Washington Watch, which is, of course, a right-wing talk show. And actually, of all people, Louis Gohmert was filling in for Tony Perkins. And, man, it was so hard to keep up with the stupid. I mean, to dodge all that stupid that was being thrown around, you had to be Neo from The Matrix. Get away from the stupid. So, uh, Alan Keyes apparently has figured uh, everything out. He knows exactly who's trying to help you, who's trying to hurt you, uh, what the gigantic conspiracy that uh, the rich people and uh, liberals are working on. So, uh, listen to this, quote, A lot of people who fancy themselves elites because they've made a lot of money, their names are all over the media and so forth, they've really signed on to an agenda that requires the depopulation of the globe. They are saying that we've got to cut back the population of the world. Ah! Be afraid! He continues, Bill Gates gave a famous talk back in 2009, which he was talking about actually abusing vaccinations, which are supposed to keep people healthy and alive, and saying how this could lead to a 15% reduction in the population of the globe as a way to achieve this result. Do you understand how big of a lunatic Alan Keyes is? He just said that Bill Gates, in 2009, gave a speech, told the public in the speech, we are engaging in this massive conspiracy to kill off 15% of the population, and we're going to do it through vaccines. But if it's a conspiracy, wouldn't telling the public be the opposite of a conspiracy? Don't you have to hide a conspiracy? Don't you, do, don't you not want people to know your plans? But no, Alan Key is probably like looking through YouTube one night, and he found this speech, and he's listening to it, and he just took it in his uh, paranoid, schizophrenic mind, jumped from place to place, and said, no, th this is what this is really about. They're trying to kill us all! He's not done. They're preaching that doctrine because they actually believe that we are a blight on the face of the planet, we human beings. Bill Gates is a human being! So what, does he not like himself? And by the way, he's made a tremendous amount of money. My guess is that his outlook on human beings is a pretty bright one. He continues, and we should therefore be on a path toward our own semi-extinction. I often try to get people to see that if you think about it, if we actually get back to the levels they're talking about, it would just be these elitists and the people needed to service them. That's all that will be left in the world. Now, what I did is uh, Googled Bill Gates vaccinations. And what popped up, there were multiple sites talking about how uh, he's doing this humanitarian aid project where he wants to actually try to eradicate different diseases that we have vaccinations for all around the world. So for example, many diseases in uh, industrialized countries had been eradicated because we do vaccines and he wants to be a good Samaritan and do it everywhere. I mean, he's got the money to do it, why not, right? But no, it wasn't just those sites. What else popped up? Articles from Infowars.com, Alex Jones' conspiracy lunatic website. And by the way, for anybody who might be sitting on the fence about vaccinations in general, even if you understand that, of course, Alan Keyes is a lunatic, but you're still not sure about uh, whether or not vaccination is a good thing. I know there's some people who have legitimate concerns. I mean, even Bill Maher, to a certain extent, is an anti-vaxxer, right? I mean, he always hedges whenever he's pushed on it, but he is, to a certain extent, an anti-vaxxer. Well, uh, here's what vaccinations have eradicated or severely reduced. I'll give you just a couple examples. In the 1920s, before uh, diphtheria, the diphtheria vaccine was common, there were 13,000 to 15,000 deaths a year from that disease. It's now been eradicated in industrialized nations. In the 1940s, there were about 58,000 cases of polio per year. Now, Donut, been eradicated in the industrialized world thanks to vaccines. And I can go on all day. Meningitis, hepatitis A and B, flu, mumps, whooping cough, pneumonia, rotavirus, rubella, smallpox, tetanus, chickenpox. The list goes on and on of different uh, diseases that have been either 
eradicated or incredibly reduced due to the prevalence of vaccine in modern medicine. Look, bottom line, there are plenty of issues that are debatable. This is not one. Vaccines are not some sort of conspiracy. There was one movement that said, well, they cause autism. I know Jenny McCar McCarthy's big on that. Yeah, but do all of your research. So number one, the dude who they say who came up with that was a researcher who later was completely discredited, and he was also brought up on criminal charges. And then furthermore, his main concern was, well, there's mercury in it, and there's all these things that are bad for you inside of the vaccine. See, look, these things are bad, these things are bad. Except they actually even took out the mercury to appease people like that that are idiots that don't know that mercury in a small amount is a preservative for the vaccines. If you take it out, the vaccines won't last as long. Look, it's like anything. If you take 10 Oxycontin pills, you will die. But if you take one, your headache will go away and you won't feel your dental pain from your root canal or your, your, the bruise you got on your leg from playing uh, basketball this past weekend. I mean, this is the way these things work. But people just go, oh, well, mercury's bad, so it's gotta be bad for you. That's not true. But they even took it out to appease the, everybody who was not getting vaccines and they're still saying, no, it's bad for you. No, man, this is not a debatable issue. And just know that if you're in that crowd, Alan Keyes is with you.